William Edward Scott was born in Indianapolis, Indiana on March 11, 1884. He was an artist who sought to portray black people in new ways, breaking away from historical stereotypes. In 1904, he moved to Chicago and attended the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. He won the Frederick Mangus Brand Prize for pictorial composition, but he learned much of his palette and impressionist technique during his travels to France. He studied at the Académie Julienne and the Académie Colorossi, where he was mentored by Henry Osawa Tanner, who moved to Paris to avoid racial prejudice against his art. Scott built his reputation easily in Europe as race wasn't a major concern of contention. With that being the case, his work presented itself more conservatively in portrayals of the new Negro, and in many cases, never focused on race at all. Scott utilized subject matter in an uplifting way and challenged the representation of black people in his murals and portraiture. He received a Rosenwald Foundation grant that allowed him to travel to Haiti. His focus was to paint black people who maintained their African heritage. He refused to portray laborers or slaves, instead painting African Americans in positions of prominence, doing noble deeds. He hoped this would reverse the stereotypical perceptions of African Americans and eventually foster an understanding among the races. In Chicago's Bronzeville district, Scott painted several prominent and historically important murals at the Wabash YMCA. They are now considered part of a historical landmark in the city. William Edward Scott died on May 15, 1964 in Chicago, Illinois.